Hello everyone and thank you for rejoining me here in Equestria playing as the Bakaran Republic. So last time we focused very, very heavily on trying to get down this path of Dreams of a Federation Focus Tree. So, uh, we're going to continue doing that, but we've got quite a few comms to get through first. For example, some have suggested, you guys, uh, let other people complete the focuses for now. Especially down this path to a degree, because right now... We have an extreme advantage over everyone else, and that's a really great thing, because we still want to form the River Federation, but we're so far ahead, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, someone asked, if I do this, RDC Industrial Projects, which is right here as well, would that screw other nations within our coalition here over? Because Deponia's doing it, I think River Republic just completed it as well. Oh, they haven't, okay, they haven't. I want to say no, just because that probably affects everyone, like, individually, this, uh, RDC Industrial Projects, because it doesn't look like it does anything. It looks like it just might help 1% of the time, maybe, maybe not. Uh, of course, we can establish a trust fund, uh, we have the rail projects as well that we have to do, so we have to do that individually as well, which we need to get down to the River Parliament, but a couple other things. Someone recommended that I assist Farbrook to get them into the Federation, and offer membership to as many people, to the people in the North as fast as possible, just so that we have bigger numbers, we might be able to take over more territory, and if we ever get attacked, it'll be harder for the enemies to kill us completely all off. Uh, maybe focus on industry and illiteracy, as we are not focusing as much now on Dreams of a Federation, and getting down here, so maybe focus more on this side, especially the ponies are the future, that would be very, very good to do. There might be a focus tree once we complete and create the River Federation. There might be a new focus tree that we can do, so we might not actually get through all this. I have no idea. We'll see what happens. That was just suggested by someone uh, from my Discord server. And as well as keep an eye on Diamond Mountain, because they, they might choose a focus that would end up with all of us going to war with a very, very strong enemy nation. Now, I'm not exactly sure which one. Ah, Revenge. Yeah, Hellquill. Apparently, they're pretty tough. Olden shot Hellquill. Hmm. I've heard that they're very, very, very tough, but that is what I've been told. Which means, someday, I have got to play Von Katharinburg. Yeah, I... Oh, my goodness. Look at that focus tree. I've got to play this nation. But, anyways, let us choose another focus after we choose. Uh, assist Farbrook, because I do want to help Farbrook out and get them quickly under us. Cool. Assist Farbrook, which means... They got a civilian factory, and we had one tour standing in the race to form the River Federation. As an emissary to the Changelings, let's see if they'll join us. Off the, co off the coast lies an island inhabited, inhabited by strange creatures called Changelings. They surely look more like ponies than the Griffins do, and we have heard stories about their queen treading the, tra treading the path of harmony. Perhaps if we reach out to them, they will be able to make an unlikely friend. Well, let's see what happens. They already broke the agreement with us like in the last episode, the very beginning of the last episode. Well, we'll see what happens. Honestly, I really don't mind if these guys... Okay, whatever. Uh, do stuff that... So that we don't have to go down here. So they already did this RDC rail project, which didn't complete it for us. So we have to do that individually as well. So that's good to know. We have to do these two individually. Uh, um, but this one, they probably not. Like, if someone does this one, then we'll also have to do that. But that's okay. That's also okay. And this one only takes 35 days, which is actually very, very nice. We'll just keep an eye on everything else. Wing body and fascist seize parliament. Well, that's probably expected. Age comes with wisdom. Support machinery. Vadina. Oh, Stalingrad Nova Grafonia. Okay. Small arms. Contract with Lakish Arms Companies. Very cool. Wittenland. Eventually. Someone did recommend I play as. Or as the. Barad Magocracy. Someday. And maybe I will. But we'll see what happens. Union of Grafenklin. Cliffian Hives has rejected our friendship delegation. Why? Why? They do not want to be our friend, it seems. They sent our delegation back home and were skeptical, skeptical of our true motives. It seems that these changings have a hard time trusting us. The news has been met with disappointment, and some citizens are even offended that the islanders turned us down. I know I would be. Ooh, the Solar Empire. Now, someone also explained in yesterday's video the Solar Empire, how we ha had the other Crystal Empire, uh, how that came about, which is really cool. I don't know enough about Equestriate War at the time of this recording to really do too much about it, but that's really cool. New Maryland. Oh, you actually broke free. Carth oh, the Carthanian Pact and Harmony Pact. Ah. So that's really disappointing. Offer membership to the North. Let's go ahead and do that one. Much has been done to approve ties between the Riverlands and the po Northern Pony States. Emissaries have even been sent to the changelings of Griffincliff. Greencliff. It's time to go even farther and formally ask these states to join the Treaty of Coldstream. 
and it only takes 35 days, which is awesome. You're gonna get one almost two political power. Wow. We did we did some work last time. Jeez, that we did we did mm, we did really well. Now we could get more monthly population by 15%. But yeah, that's okay. Financial expert. Uh I like this one, but I would probably go with the financial expert. Just for a few more factories for now. It's not it's almost nothing, basically. We might not have even gotten anything at all. But that's okay. That's okay. So after this we have to do the industrial projects. We gotta do uh the other one as well. That's just to the right of that one. Anything else here? Oh good. Arms industry, good. Keep building yourselves up. That'd be great. RDC investment funds. Now, what does that one do? Now, this we might have to do that one separately as well. There's quite a few that we have to do separately, which is okay, but still. Cast, cast that free state. Good word on a thing I can't pronounce. I see Indy. Indy? I don't know. I, I don't speak that. Let's see. Where is that? Bandits. Griffin Liberation Army. Angriver. Ah, offer membership to the north. Good. Good, 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 good. So to keep it in line with everyone else, we're going to keep going down this way. And then maybe we'll get to the ponies are the future. Uh, you know what? I lied. I'm going to go here first. The ponies are the future. We must be proactive and take measures to combat the unacceptable level of illiteracy, which still exists in our nation. A focus on education is a prerequisite for taking our economy into the modern age. And that would be a very, very, very good thing. These guys are all Strawberry Duchy, Bethesitria, Vadina, Nova... Oh, Stalingrad, Stalingrad, Stalingrad. Also, there's another comment from yesterday as well, detailing that we should keep an eye on the Dread League and our... Arcturian Order, especially the Dread League, because if they get too strong, they snowball apparently and just can wallop everyone, so we should be careful. We should be very, very careful to see what could potentially happen against the Dread League, because we don't have a really big military. We got a good amount of guns, we got a okayish few ships, We're not really that great, and we don't have any manpower to deploy, but it is what it is. Hmm. And apparently someone also said yesterday. Almost no one goes early mobilization or partial mobilization, like, when you're at peace in Equestrian War. If someone said that, I don't know. I, I don't know the mod that well, or I haven't played it that much to really know about that. But it is what it is. Very cool. And this is done almost. Three days. Let's see. Oh, man, that takes a oh, whole 400 days. Oh, my goodness. Mm, we, that's definitely wait. Let's go back over here. Real projects, more infrastructure? Sure. The RDC has made its mission to connect the many far-flung places in eastern Griponia. By inviting their engineers, we'll be able to connect our hinterlands together. We have but to draft an official plan and send a request to the company. Very good. Naval stuff, that might be important. Uh, it's probably pretty important. Let's see, electronics. Research refineries. Oh, we could do that. I think industrial, just for now, is probably the best. Just because we focus a lot on industry in this game. Spirit, Yakistan, Jackie Clan was capitulated. Oh, uh, yucky, yucky, Stan, that's right. Ah, uh, seems like they're doing okay in Stalingrad. Wow, that looks like a really small, wilted, wilted flower. Let's see. Solar, new Marylander War. Crystal Empire fighting the Commonwealth of New Maryland. Well, they're not looking too good so far. Katerina Umawian War. And we have no Equal Nova Grafonian War. Stalingradian War in the north. Our country, Stalingrad. That's a lot of losses, guys. Wow. Guys, come on. Oh, Sinister set off. That oh, you're almost out of man. Oh, they're out of manpower too. They're completely out. You guys just have a little bit left. You lost a lot of ponies. Jesus, guys, come on. That's a bit much. That's a bit much. Happy 1010 though, my friends. 1010 is a good year. Submachine guns, magical guns. Do everything for industry, construction speed, and then probably output. You know, we really don't need more output. That much more output right now. There we go, we're making all of our guns bolt-action rifles, that's nice. I really wish we could raise the conscription level. Actually, we can. I should probably do that next, we can get some more ships out. Having a bigger navy is probably pretty good to do. Alright, keep an eye on everything here, let's see. Diamond Mountain. Crystals, good. Open the political sphere. What is that? Open the political sphere. Ah, okay, good. Oh, uh, they can't go down here because they need... Ah, oh, they don't have enough factories. Grassroots democracy, fun river... Tr Trans. I think we did we do that one? No, we have not. So that might actually complete for us. The tripartite union. Aren't Varanians obsessed with legitimacy? Cool. So that's actually good. Once we get this one done, and then hopefully this one bypasses as well, and then we'll do our, our own industrial projects. Which will be a good thing. Come on. Ah, I see it passed. Good. We could establish a social fund. At one point, we're already pretty good. We're going to let other people do that first so that we don't have to. But we're going to do projects because this doesn't autocomplete if we 
if other people do it already. So one of the RDC's primary goals is increasing economic growth. By opening up new industrial sectors and guaranteeing the investment from private individuals or investment, the company increases industrial capacity. We can make use of these services ourselves, granting us an expansion in industrial capacity. So that is for each country individually that you kind of have to do by yourself. And that's okay. Uh, we're gonna be, we will be researching more stuff. Let's see, range, deck size. You really think about that deck size. Yeah, that's probably the best thing to do. Wait, whoops, I, my bad. I should have got more political power. Or more manpower. My bad. That's my fault. I chose the wrong thing there. Even though it wasn't really wrong. It would have been better. But we get almost two a day, so it's only 75 days away. The Grifonian Empire is murdering the Grand Duchy of Fethesia. Fethesia. Wow. Uh, Helquil is suffering a little bit from Stargrad, or the Socialist Republic of Longsword. So that's kind of good. Uh, let's keep an eye on it. We strengthen the government good. Ah, see, they had to do the projects as well. We're all stuck in the same boat doing the same thing. Which is fine. Whatever. Uh, good, 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 good. So we are 10, 3, 1. Oh, wait, offer... Oh, how do we offer membership? Has, has completed focus. Signed the Treaty of Cold Stream. Water Towns and Chichum of Farbrook. Water Towns, Fair Trees. Uh, how do we know when they complete it? Education of... Wow, that's a nice beard that animal had. The Fall of Griffenheim. Uh-oh. Okay, cool. Befriend Fob. Rook, we need more sl slaves. Oh, it's over here. Military stuff, looks like it. Isolationist policy. Wretched Hive. Ah, sign the Treaty of Cold Stream. Now, we don't know which way they're going. I really don't know which way they're going at all. Uh, well, at least we know what that looks like. L that looks awesome. Hermain Gowring. Really? Ah. Hmm. Let's see. External threats protected of the north. Coordination. Safe from within. Safe from, from without. Quell descent. Looks, looks pretty communist over here. Imperialist dreams. Cold mouth. Well, let's see if we can type in cult. The flying columns. Hmm. How about sign? Conduct a capital ship. No? Well, it's somewhere here. Well, it's just best that we did it early on, just so that we might get the option available if they want to join us. And we got the projects done. Great. Now, we could go down here. I think we have to do this one, too, because it's not going to autocomplete, so we might as well. The RDC has a large sums available to invest in regional projects. We could spend some time to lobby the company so that they invest more into our country. Not only they might be able to help our industry, it might help to convince our population that the continued integration of the Riverlands is beneficial for our country. Yeah. And let's... Uh, I thought we... Oh, encourage reading classes. There we go. Lose political power gain. Lose some cons consumer goods factories. We get more construction speed and research time. Yes, please. I'm glad I looked for that right now. Chief of our book. I don't think we did Watertown yet, did we? Keeper Ethelin. That is adorable. I'm not going to lie. That is really, really adorable. Wow. Education reform. That seems pretty good. And when can you do your thing about joining us, potentially? Dreams of Republic. Gather support. Strengthen the, the government. Foundations of a modern state. Strengthen unity. Ideological thought. Changeling equestrian border. Worrying. Quite. Do they not get that? It's not definitely not on the right. Rightful route. Noble both right. Wait, so wait, which way did they go? They went with communism. Because why not? Mass illiteracy. Communist se sentiment. Holy Springs. I like Holy Springs. So they probably went with this way. Popular revolution, land reform, five-year plan, spread the revolution, fight to the last, ideological thought, some country died on our own. Yeah, I don't know. Militarization. That's kind of cool. Just got to keep an eye on this stuff. Oh, the water town has to do... Fight to the last or strengthen unity. Okay, that's cool. That might never happen. It might never happen, but that'd be great if we could add him in. I would love it. And we've got like 30 days left. 20 days left, actually. So keep an eye on this. Armament effort, too good. The fires of industry. See, they have to do investments as well, so. No worries. An elective monarchy, cool. Special forces battalions. And they're doing investments as well. So they're actually, they're doing investments. They were doing investments, and they're doing investments, and now they're doing armored warfare. Cool, let's get up some manpower. Or pony power. Good. Limited conscription. We're actually raising our conscription levels so we can maybe get a boat out. I love boats. Especially when they're not injured. King of Wing Body declared one of the Falkorian Queendom. Queen. My queen, huh? Alrighty, tidy. So next up is all this stuff. We can't do that because we need to get established a social fund. We don't have to necessarily do that yet. Uh, allows economically prop up other rebel coalition members. No tolerance for extremism. Curtail communism and fascism. 
We are here for the little pony. Stability, that's the, the research slot, no. Rural electrification. I kind of like that. Resource efficiency gains to ability and 10% construction speed. I want to help us out quite a bit. So rural electrification. Access to electricity is vital for facilitating economic and social growth. Unfortunately, far too many ponies in rural interior areas lack household electri electric power. We must commence an electrification initiative to, without delay to remedy the situation and get another military factory. Oh, we finally got another boat. We got a boat, my friends. We have a boat. Another boat. We got a lot of naval speed. Getting a fourth research shot would be so helpful. So, we're going to go down here, and then maybe we'll go that way. More daily political power, monthly population, stability. But we get... Oh, actually, adapt the healthcare system. Huh. Actually, daily political power. Substantial... Huh. Science base. What are we currently on? Oh, there go some people. Bye-bye. We have a small... We want substantial. Oh, mine is... Yeah, we got to go down this way. Oh, my goodness. So we gotta really lay off those focuses for now, which will be fine. Totally fine. We're still at 10. Let everyone else figure out what they're doing down there, which is fine with us. Oh, what is that? Oh, Cassif. Oh, that's what Cassif Free State is. A zebra! Huh. Another division. Great. Train. What type of focus tree do you have? Because you're almost guaranteed that every country here has like a unique focus tree. At least from my experience, it seems like they do. Well, there goes a kingdom. Wow. God, you gotta love this. You gotta love the devs. The, what they've done with this mod. Amazing stuff. Oh, I haven't seen this in a while. More decryption power? Sure. Oh, we could probably get an intelligence agency. Yeah, we probably could. Uh, I, I don't want to build the Great War. Oh, boy. Good luck, guys. I'm not getting involved. Actually, I want more civilian factories first. Rural electrification. Let's get some faster research speed. Ooh, one, two, three, one, two. Let's do this one first. The Bazaar of the Far East. Our mastery of the seas has historically made Bacara a regional hub for travelers of all stripes, but it would be wise to take steps to make our ports more attractive to merchants. Attaining a greater share of the lucrative eastern trade network will be a key to ensuring our economic prosperity. So we get more political power gain, more factory output, and better trade deals. Love it. City Palomina declared war in the Republic of Homorava. Homovara. Wow. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know what? Let me know in the comments below. What type of intelligence agency name should we have here? Ooh, I kind of like this. I like that a lot. But we'll probably go with someone else that seems a little bit more merchanty. Don't tread on me or Mr. Arrow. Mm, the Lion of Bacarda. This looks like it's has waves. I'm going to assume it's like waves, curves. I was say it's a squirting, but I don't know. Let me know. What type of name should we have for our intelligence agency? We might as well make one now. Might as well. Bizarre, the far east, and oh, they're killing each other. I love it, and they're still killing each other down here. Ooh, wing body. Oh, oh boy, that's not good for you guys. Well, good luck. Good luck. Improved railways or oh, railways? Railways. Promote the best. I said promote the beast or the or the best or the beast. Ooh, do we something here? Oh, war propaganda against chain. Hmm. hmm. More reading classes? Of course. War propaganda? Since we have it, we might as well. You might as well. We never know if we might be on the offensive, we might be on the defensive. You never know. So, at least we helped our construction speed as well as research speed because 400 days for this. Oh my goodness, that's so long. So long. Alright, so who, who, who else wants to take over? Oh, they're 95% of the way for the River Republic. Oh, that's not good. Uh, we're pretty close to everyone else, actually. So. Good, that's done, that's done. Got some more output, you might as well. Even though we don't really need more output right now. Actually, we got artillery now. Oh, that's fall of sunset. Uh oh. Oh boy. So we got them, we got them, we got them. Is there anything else we could build? I would like some planes eventually. I guess we go with early bombers. The revolutionary decree of the Scandinavian Socialist Republic. Hellquill is dying, so that's kind of good to see. That's really, actually really good. Bazaar of the Far East. Good, 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 good. And adapt the Rijakan healthcare system. Bakada's current healthcare system has served us well enough up to now, but it's in drastic need of reform. The Rijakan system has produced excellent results throughout its existence and is popular among the people and well regarded by most experts. We should not be shy about taking inspiration from it, as well as, as, well as the well being of our citizens must always be our primary concern. More political power gain, more monthly population. Actually, we can research stuff faster, which would be kind of nice. Negotiate. Negotiate? What does that mean? Oh, become subject. Vigilant land requests cold stream. Huh. Interesting, the Queen's speech. I don't know this. Proposal is an alliance. Huh. Because I'm, I'm much more focused on dreams of a federation, but they're not, apparently. 
Which is fine, but still. Negotiate Griffonia Northern Region became a subject. Ah, okay, good. They're doing establish a social fund so that we don't have to. What is this? Write the Convention on Racial Tolerance. I'm going to let them take care of it, because then we'll get that spirit anyways, and we don't have to worry about that, so. Uh, that's fine with me if they want to do that. Racial Tolerance. Cool stuff. Uh, an operative. Let's see. Ebony. Hmm. I like the picture of Moonshadow, but you know what? If she's Ebony, we're going to keep her. That actually sounds really weird out of context. Hmm. I say a lot of things that could be taken very poorly out of context. But sometimes it's a lot of fun. Trub? Trub? Trade Hub of the East. Great. Political power gain. Oh, yeah. How much do we get? Nice. Dark Crusade. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Uh, mmm. Mmm. Ah, no, there goes Hoko. Okay. That's good. That is interesting. Olenia. Changeling Olenia. That is a... That is a creature. Yeah, that's definitely a creature. Now that is a... Mmm. Mm-hmm. Thumbs up. Yes, mama. Woo! Plain stuff. Close air support. We're not going to do that. We must get this one. More range. Oh, yeah. I always get more range for that. And he, wait, that's really good. That's really, really good. So you get more range for fighters. For heavy fighters and reliability by 20% for heavy fighters. And 20% reliability for tactical bombers. That seems uh, pretty darn decent in my opinion. That's only 536 days for this next line doctrine. It's might not even be worth researching, actually. Okay, never mind. Only 400 days, but even then, 400 days, that's so long. Oh. Really no point to do this stuff for now. Let's see. Found this. More population. That's not bad. The Ebony Transportation Plant. Decisions which allows to construct railways. Hmm. Not bad. No tolerance for extremism. I do want that extra research slot. Is there a way for us to get more research slots down here, though? The factors increase our society development level. That's not bad. Output. Uh, resource prospecting. Political power. Not bad. Modernization. Uh, national spirit for more research. Industrial research. Just kind of research overall. Develop science base. That's not bad. Growing the salt industry. I like that. Workshop of the East. Uh, you can get down here, but that takes quite a few focuses. I do want that extra research slot right now, though. So, let's go that way. I completely ignore reviewing the military, though. Uh, no tolerance for extremism. The factional strife, which led nearly to tear our nation apart, must not be allowed to fester any, in the, any longer in the shadows. The demagogues who sought to rile the, pool, the people up with uh, overheated and irresponsible rhetoric must be challenged head-on and exposed as the would-be tyrants they are. Let there be no doubt that empowering such figures would lead us only to ruin. Or a lot of weird fun times, but probably not super fun depending on your opinion and stuff. 93% good. We got our factories back. Are we still raising more manpower? No, we're not. Hmm. That does not make me feel good. That really don't. She really don't make me feel good when she do that. Oh, man. We have no radar still. No anti-air. Ah, oh, big sadness. Uh, we have not even researched any of this stuff because we don't only three research slots, which really, really, really sucks. But we only get two political power day, which is awesome. And we got rid of some of our debuffs for research, which is great. Deponia, what are you doing? Oh, decryption. Economic boom. Okay, that's good. Good for you. Oh, it is happy 10-11, man. I don't know why, but it seems like maybe the mods, or mods, the developers have sped up the ability when you play this mod? I don't know. I don't have a better computer, but it seems like things go by a little bit faster. So, the River Social Development Fund. The River Republic has approached us with further, further treaties to appease or append to what has already been built on in the wreck. They back a river commission, a proposal to put in place measures and practices that improve in factory conditions, <clears throat> not only hampering, without hampering workplace efficiency, but rather to streamline the process even more. This might lose us the ability to control our own labor laws, however. Deserve this fund. Uh, cool. Or mind no business. Yeah, they deserve the fund. Why not? Seems like a good idea. A model healthcare system. Man, that would be nice. Monthly population goes up, hopefully. Yep, 138. Not very much, but that's okay. And we don't have to do that focus. Now, what are they doing? Riverside Republic. Oh, is it? Ah, Lake City Engineer Corps. That's fine. That is totally fine. Oh, oh, hold on. Who are you? Who are you? You are a red-headed pony. That, crimson. Of course it would be crimson. That is enticing. But we stand for the little pony. It is our responsibility to take care of our citizens and ensure that they have access to healthcare, food, and housing. Sunshine Carrick's ambitious welfare plan will ensure that every pony, no matter their status, will be able to meet their basic needs. Political power gains, stability, and less resistance growth in good places. What can we do here? Nothing there. Nothing there. Improved worker conditions, but we don't really need that. Anti-communist raids. 
You can ban communism. I kind of don't mind that. That's okay for now. Tanks. I don't think we'll really use tanks in this campaign. Maybe armor, medium tanks. We'll probably use me medium. Let's do that one. That's fine. Uh, we could go to limited exports too. Mm, probably not though. It wouldn't really bring us that much of a benefit. Paula Van Hoover. Oh boy, not Van Hoover. Republican militia. Oh, this hurts me. This hurts me so much. Uh, artillery. Go and do that. Maybe we won't have enough for everything. But that's okay. There you go. Ruin the manpower. A little bit. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Uh, get two artillery then. It's good. How much support going do we have? 600? We might be able to afford some engineers. Yes. And we're out of manpower again. Recon. Yes. We, if we're going to have these divisions, we might as well make them really good, you know. We might as well make them very good. With body club in the parishes of Sikamyan. Go ahead and train. All those guys have to train anyways. That's fine. We could improve military training if we really wanted to, but that's okay. Uh, well, you know what? We could always go ahead and go to extensive conscription. You know what? We might as well. We might as well have a good army right now. Continue training. Make sure we're really efficient just in case things go poorly. I doubt Diamond Mountain will really do anything out that since now that Hellquill is gone. Army expansion. Oh, what is that? Equestrian Scholars. That's kind of cool. Well, you better do that before they all die over here. Guys, they're slowly losing, I think. We sent for Little Pony, the Vendian Civil War. Very cool. Free school books for all. Every pony, rich or poor, deserves the right to a fair and full education. In addition to the economic benefits that would result, we have a moral obligation to do so. Greater access to knowledge will allow our ponies to flourish and achieve their full potential. We get a research lot and 5% more stability if we really needed more stability because we already have 100%. I love stability, man. Stability is so good. It's 10, 11. Once this is done, we'll probably do some research speed, I think. Probably. Oh my gosh, look at that political power every day. 2.44. I mean, my gosh. That is so good. That is insanely good. Wow. I wonder when we're going to get into an actual war, though. They don't look like they're having a good time. Well, that's okay. We're not either, because we need more population, but that's okay. That's okay. I might actually expand the Marines as well, since we have them. They're not bad. But we need so much artillery where we're headed, so let's not do that yet. I just want to keep building up more civilian factories, too. I want at least one full production run, please. Thank you very much. Actually, we could get rid of... You know what? We got time. Actually, which one's bigger? Uh, yeah, let's get rid of the commies first. Why not? Ban communism. Our anti-communist red. We lose stability. We lose... No, that doesn't give us any more stability. So, let's just do anti-communist raids. We'll see. Ah, that's, that's not bad. Let's just do some raids. That's all. Yeah, slowly go down, slowly go down. That's good, 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 good. I'm still get 2.43 every day. So our country has capitulated. Well, our country hasn't, but Nova Grafoni has killed them off. Crystal Province? What happened to you? Grand Inquisitor? Wow. Roundups on the street. Doesn't sound very good. They're pretty supremacist. Mandatory Enlightenment. Interesting. Ah, finally another... Research slot, good. We could do that. We don't have to, though. We could do that, but we don't have to. Uh, Ebony plan. And the poll tax. Wrangle big business. That's not bad, either. We can kind of ignore that for now. I do want to get down here to help our society development. So, support the Tilvaz Company. Uh, the Tilvaz Motor Company embodies the pinnacle of Baccarat ingenuity, pioneering cutting-edge manufacturing techniques and efficient management of an industrial workforce. We must invest and promote further developments in our automobile industry. Yes, that is a great thing, and now I'm going to go back to that once we get this one done. More research speed. More, 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 more. Which, things are actually finally looking better now. Thank goodness. So, I haven't done anything there. We're still at 10. So, this gives us, let's see, a design company. Armor, research speed, plus 10%. Uh, armor gets... Speed, reliability, tank desire, and more infrastructure construction speed, and a military factory, which is not bad. Ah, oh, someone did the river parliament. So it was inevitable that with all the powers granted to the river commission, there would be a call for more democratic control at the pan-riverlands level. The river republic has championed the cause for a river parliament, which would be counterweight to an unelected commission. The proponents of this parliament hope that this will result in more sensible and popular policies, while ensuring that the riverlands are ruled by and for of the people. Uh, yeah, yeah, we deserve it. Yeah, yeah, why not? We only get almost roughly three a day for pol political power. So, yeah, why not? Army drill. We'll probably get more organization first. Let's see. Logistics. Uh, I'm going to go with that one. We are running out of things to do with our political power. Save the bonies of Barad. Operation... Oh, what is that? Rushing waters? Oh, that looks pretty good. And it's only for half a year, though. 
Improved weapons, a new mountain, the home. What is that? A home act? Oh, it's over here. Stability works for. Okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, so it looks like we could probably do the next one if we really wanted to, but we probably don't need to. Over here. So they did this. Uh, Central Bank. A free travel area. You know what? We're still going to let them do all, this, all three of these. They can do racial tolerance. They can do River Central Bank. They can do a free travel area if they want. The Rivet had one. It's not bad. Vittenland. Oh, boy. The River Union. Cool. Nice. Because we want to make sure that we're actually okay ourselves. We don't always help invest in other people. And they went to war. That might call everyone else in. That might not be a good thing. Let's stop producing such not as good guns. That would be a good thing. Nice. Very nice. 15 days. Hopefully they can win. I hope they do win, though. Actually, are you fighting everyone in the alliance besides us? Yes, you are. Raising... Who the heck? Count Ambrosius? Avatar of Chaos. Fallen Pentarchy. Undead autonomy. Oh, how's it the people in the north doing? Ah, uh, the Dread League is slowly pushing through. Doesn't make me feel that good about them, but let's see what happens. Oh. Actually, making some of that. That's not bad. In the end, though, of course, we need more infrastructure. Cool. We could do that, but we're going to wait. There's no rush. No rush. At least it doesn't seem like there's a rush. Full scale industrial modernization. The path of the modern nation is clear, and it is industrial. We must undertake an extensive reorganization of the economy to boost our manufacturing capabilities. Two factories in total, and increase our society development level. Which we are in an outdated industrial sector with churches construction speed, research, factory, and dockyard outputs, as well as resource efficiency gain. Which we'll probably go with a modern society. We definitely don't want to go with detached here. Yeah, that would be very good. Communal society. We could get involved, but why would I want to lose my pony power? And yeah, that does not look very fun. Just killing off our own guys, yeah. Yeah, no, anti-supremacist raids? Might as well, why not? Get rid of these supremacists. Tendalin, Riverlands, Hoofball Cup. After this, I guess we could do some... Air Force stuff? Pair drop, we're not using that. Air superiority is always pretty good to do. Cool, advanced machine tools, awesome. We're finally getting stuff done. Finally. Woo. Land doctrine slowly coming along. Get better artillery. We don't want to make outdated old stuff. That's that's garbage. Straight garbage. And we get army logistics. Organization is probably better, so we'll probably go with that one. And we'll have it very soon. July 29th. Pretty good. Nice. Please don't wear yourself so thin that these guys can beat you up. But it looks like they're slowly advancing. What are the casualties like? What is this? Second Reclamation War? Stalingradian War. Uh, the Order and Barad. 22,000 versus 39. Ah, that's actually better than what I thought. We're actually a major power. Oh, we must be the leader then. Yeah, we are the leader. Which isn't bad, but you know what? Let them kill each other down there. Mm, go and do that first. Hey, we're making some planes. That's nice. Finally making some planes. Deponia. A free travel. Oh, actually, hey, they're doing the free travel area. Nice. Good. Nice. So they're doing that, so we don't have to do that, which is awesome. We can focus on ourselves, which is great. Should I focus on the military stuff? Honestly, a lot of the stuff doesn't seem that interesting. It seems okay. Ooh, daily air XP gain. That's actually probably pretty good to do. Uh, fresh meat. I'd love to do this, but... These seem to be blueprints. Uh, that's not bad. Yeah. Two elite divisions of marine infantry. That's kind of cool. Completing this focus will unlock a new decision to design a specialized cruiser. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's this one's pretty good. Shipmasters? I like that. That's actually really good, but that takes too long to get down to. Honestly, I mean, there's some national spirits here that you can get that are, look pretty good, but if you don't take this stuff, it doesn't seem like it would hurt you if you didn't take it. Infantry equipment, soft attack, and reliability. That's pretty good. I like this one. Matters of equipment. Uh, that's, not, that's not bad. It's not great. Different bonuses depending on your previous choices. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd love to choose all these, but... I don't think we've got time for all of them. So let's keep go going down this way. Let's see. Political power gain, resource efficiency, and less resources to market. Dockyard output and escort efficiency. I like the dockyard output. I like getting ships out there quickly. Resource prospecting, industry. Create this. So, design company. Resource efficiency gain, monthly population, less supply consumption, and a building slot, and more pony power. Or get political power, stability... 
any other weapon. Obviously, we probably want to choose Saz. So, the Pakaran affinity for the seas has resulted in a government which has long neglected to provide financial assistance to land based agricultural endeavors. Direct collective detriment. It's time we start supporting our farmers by creating new incentives for cultivating land. Yes, Caponian Republic to war on Vidino. Caponian Empire is looking pretty small. All republics up there. Holy Catarin Council. Oh. Heinrich Duskfeather. Hi, they won! Good job, guys. Now you have a lot of resistance. Congrats. Kingdom of Lushi. Huh. Reminds me of Sushi. Fanaticism within our ranks? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Kaid Commune. Socialist Learning. Pry Win. Correct our history. Wow. Collective of Festarian. Ah, free movement area. So, a radical proposal was brought up in a meeting by the ambassador from Deponium. They proposed that a free movement area should be realized between the member states of the community. That would mean abolishing border controls in our inter internal borders and losing control of who comes and goes into our country across the border of the community. This would come with several other reforms, like a transnational police agency to catch cross-border criminals. Although connecting our people together is a good thing, a border was always considered a sign of national sovereignty. Should we part with our borders? Are we forming the EU? It seems like we're forming the EU. So, the Queen's... Beach. What is... Oh, good lord. Cool. Today, Her Majesty Queen White Scar of Wittenland uh, held a public speech in Wittenberg about the Co River Coalition. Wittenberg's, Wittenland's role in it and its future. She had invited res representatives from all member states to attend and listen to her speech, and many foreign reporters had come as well. You know what? I'm going to say no, because it seems like you guys probably have this under control since they're fighting someone else at the same time, and I don't want to get involved with this. So, in her speech, she spoke about the importance of Riverland unity uh, in these uncertain times and the value of cooperation in all facets of society to ensure mutual prosperity and security between members of the coalition. She said this said, oh, we got that done, nice, uh, was especially important as Western Griffin states have begun to rapidly consolidate after the collapse of the Empire and possibly have ambitions in the East. She acknowledged that the nations of the Riverlands are very diverse, having various races, cultures, and forms of government, yet said that the diversity was uh, the strength of the River Coalition. Exchange of different ideas allows for new ones to be born, and each nation can focus on their speciality and share their advancements with one another. As an example, she spoke of Vitland focusing on mastering magic and training unicorn soldiers, while Nambuzia has its elite Pegasus units. However, she also said in the end of the foundation of the coalition should be democracy. Even those nations with more authoritarian societal systems should have elected representatives in the coalition itself so that their alliance never becomes dominated by the leader of one member state. She warned that any cooperation will break apart if any member seeks to grow stronger than its allies, so a balance of power will need to be maintained as well. She ended the speech by saying that any old grudges and rivalries between the coalition members should be forgotten and buried, because it was simply more beneficial to have friendly relations with one another. United we stand, divided we fall, were her last words. The gathered audience cheered and stomped the ground with her who's in approval. The representatives from other coalition states did not necessarily share their enthusiasm, but all of them found at least something in their speech that they agreed upon. Wise words. Very good. Yeah, I don't see a point of me losing manpower here. I'll let these guys take care of it, even though someone might get higher up on the level for assuming faction leadership. They're only at 90%, and we're still trying to build up factories like crazy here, so I'm not too worried about it. Our country oh, there goes Stalingrad. I, I don't want to get involved, guys. Like, seriously, there's no point for us to get involved. Uh, bomb interception. We're just going to grab that. I love having all this political power, not going to lie. I mean, they're, they don't need me here. Death of Nova Grafonian democracy. Democracy is just a pipe dream for them, it seems. Well, at least we're still democratic for now. Northern region, Kingdom of Vidina. Oh, the Dread League's doing well. That's not good. Kingdom of Vidina has capitulated. And we've done it. Create the size. Uh, let's keep an eye on what everyone else is doing. Secure the Greif King River Basin. Military. Oh, they're doing investments, support companies. Cool. Planes, industrial concerns. No one else is doing stuff over there, so why should we? So, embarrassingly, there remains large swaths of land in Bakara which have never been closely examined or studied. Rich deposits of precious metals could be lying just underneath our neglected ground. In light of this, it would be prudent to launch a program of nationwide mineral exploration without delay, which is a good thing. Now, once, we, once that is done, I would like to go down to actually here, because we can't do that. Oh, actually, I probably would have preferred this over this, but that's okay. You know, whatever. So we're going to still have to wait for this, which is fine. But we'll probably do economic harmonization, the ebony transportation plan. We'll probably do that. And this, that one's okay. That's actually probably pretty good, good good to do for more defense, which is what we could probably use. More war support, which is actually something that we could use. And United Riverlands Community. Committee. Oh, crap. What's going on? Who's who's doing this? Chieftain of... Cold Mouth Corridor. We wanted you to join us, not fight us. A fir tree. Oh, wait. Fir tree villages. Or did you 
Did you join us? Independence is guaranteed by the... Oh, yes. Rise of the Avatar. Nice with water. Oh, yeah, Avatar. Oh, yeah, mm. Is he a waterbender? Hmm. Well, seems like we're going to have a slight issue here. We might end up on the offensive. Artillery, artillery? Good. Time to make some better artillery. You can get the bestest artillery if we can. Fuck, when it costs us more to make them, but that's okay. We can make some early bombers and early fighters. Nice. New Maryland's gun of war again. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, that's the case. Oh, we have a second ship. Great. I'm making a lot of screens just because screens are always so necessary. We have two capital ships, so that's kind of okay for now. Repair, repair, repair. Okay, I have communist capitulated. That's why I don't want to get involved. That's fine with us. 93% for Vittenland. Oh, wait, are they still fighting down here? Oh, there's some, some of the lands, but it's hard to see. Okay, rich sub. Machine guns, good. Hmm, plane stuff? Maybe get some better planes already? Even better SMGs. Actually, who are you fighting down here? Are you still fighting these guys? Oh, actually, you might be. Eh, they can still do pretty well without us, right? Nice. Uh, we could do that stuff, but we're not going to. And the Volt Axe, we don't really need that right now. Uh, we might want to do that. that. That looks pretty good for more population. We might need to get that population, though. Uh, that's okay. Growth of Assault Industry. I really like that. Supply consumption, research speed. Ooh. Developed science base. Change scientific development. We are currently on substantial. We get up to developed. That's not bad. I do maybe want to rush going there. But we can't do that because we did not reinforce the shipping industry. So we're locked out of this. We're locked out of that. Actually, civilian factory resource output plus plus one? I should have read that before. Oh, we get some crystals though. That actually might be better. Another research slot. Technology overall. Ah, let's, go, let's go down that way, but when you go to here to here, let's do safeguard domestic businesses. Although the reduction of trade barriers that came with membership in the River Coalition has been beneficial to many citizens, it has had the unfortunate side effect of causing economic dislocation of workers in import comp competing sectors. We must more do, do to shield these workers and businesses from foreign competitors. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm still pretty confident that you guys would still be able to take these guys out. Still pretty darn confident, even though we will have to deal with this, which is not good, but that's okay. Just in time for another division? Great. Annexation of New Maryland. Oh boy. Hey, right, you might as well do that. And we're done with this stuff? We might go to limited exports to see. Yeah, I, really, I, don't, I don't see any point for us to go to war right now. I really don't. Do we have any air bases? We can deploy them here, why not? Fighters? Not many. But that's okay. I mean, we, I guess we could join the war if we want to get some more air XP, even though we really don't have the planes. We don't have the industry for this. Individually, we're just not that strong. If we were united together, then we'd probably be pretty strong. And I keep wanting to make more civilian factories over military factories, but you know, whatever. They don't even have it. I don't know if we come over here. We might have range. So, oh god, you're getting involved in more wars? Why? For what purpose? Uh, that is disappointing. But you know what? I'm going to be the ones defending up here, so. Good luck, guys. You got a lot of green, so I'm not too worried about it. Solar Empire loses Tall Tail. Well, they're slowly losing. They're not losing as fast as other people might have them lose. Oh boy, Dread League is doing well. Oh boy. Oh, expand stuff? Uh, we don't really need to do too much of this. Maybe Chromium. No, we're on good Chromium. We need Steel, Tungsten. And oil and stuff like that. Chromium steel. You know, do both. We could use a lot of steel. <sighs> Fine. Good lord. Stop asking me to do stuff for you. I will help out with... Actually, you have, like, no range for that. So I'm going to help out here first. Just so we just do a smidgen of air damage. Just get a smidgen of air XP. Because it's going to ruin the amount of planes we can make here. Which sucks. Good. Growing the salt industry. Oh, we could do that military factory pretty much right now, but I do want to get this first. I need more population. So, the Ebony Transportation Plan. Historically, railway systems throughout the Riverlands developed as separate, privately owned companies operating regional networks, which has led to an overall level of infrastructure that is spotty at best. Ebony Wing has concocted a bold plan where Abacara will invest in constructing new railway tracks in order to create a more efficient railway or net rational network. Rash rational? Rational network. Okay. 
Cool. Sounds good to me. Sure. Uh, Lushi? Um, I'm gonna say no. I'm not sure what you're doing. Oh, look at that. They demanded this. What's going on now? Are you justifying against us, or what's going on? Fate of the villages. <sighs> These guys are so violent. This is why you don't give up your territory. Fir tree and water town. That is, I don't know how many days that has, but that's not good. That's, that's seriously why you don't give it up. Like, seriously? Like, what type of geniuses are you? Which actually, that's not too bad. Especially if you can cut them off here and cut off a lot of divisions. That's actually pretty good for us. Go ahead and grab that. Four research slots. It's so nice to have. How are our planes doing? Have we been shot down? Yes, we have. Oh, just a little bit. Just doing a little bit of air damage. We don't even have one air XP yet, which is fine. Uh, going to put disperse. Integrated. Integrated is the way to go. Actually, artillery is looking pretty good. Republican militia. Throw this on there because you're going to need it. Okay, we're going to need that one too. Even better artillery. We have a semi-functioning uh, government here. And probably one's doing pretty well. They even made an instrument. See, they don't need me. They don't need me at all. Well, I shouldn't say that too loudly. They might actually get rid of me. Uh, that's why I don't want to get involved. I have no idea. So... I'm going to see something like... Uh, you know what? I'm... I'm just going to... I know this is unfair. This doesn't make too much sense. I'm probably just going to puppet them under me. Yeah, I guess we might as well. I'm not sure what they do with the land. So, and I don't want anyone's infrastructure or manpower to get hurt too badly. So, we might as well just do that. If this is wrong, I'm sure you guys will let me know. Should I give the territory away to the Kingdom of Vitton Land? They probably need it or something like that. State of Lake City, I have no idea. Brywen, uh, can we pop it you yet? Yeah, we can. Cool. Oh, crap. That, oh. Mm-hmm. I could give, give, that, give that territory to Prywen. I don't really care. But let me know in the comments, should I give this territory to someone else? Should I not? Because I, I I really don't know. Hopefully they change colors, though. Oh, they change colors. Kingdom of Prywen. Cool. They're fighting Longsword as well. And Republic of Zaf Zafse. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the artillery, guys. I appreciate it. Actually, can we ask you for garrison support? Give control state. I don't know. We'll see what happens. See, this is why I don't want to get involved. I had to take stuff from them. Unless I lock these guys out of something, I might have. Yeah, I'll take I'll take whatever you got. Mailstorm of death. Let's see, for you guys. Uh maybe not. Elective monarchy. Tension. Popular musician performs in Cantor lot. No, it doesn't seem like it locked them out of too much. More than five research slots. Less than five research slots. And we go to Ward Lucy as well. Okay. Um, well at least we our guys expanded a little bit, I guess. I'm not sure if I'm too happy about that, but Ebony Transportation Plan, and then we will do this to get some more manpower. Found the Rosent Com. Although our only wish is peace, we must always be prepared to defend our nation in the event of war. To this end, Riverland Operation Central Command shall be established and empowered to direct matters of intelligence, operations, logistics, planning, and training for our forces operating within the Riverlands. Look at that population. It's not much, but we get another operative slot, which is nice, nice, nice. 89%, not bad. Keep building up civilian factories. Hey, we're back up. Nice. We got those factories back. Uh, industry. I don't want to hurt my stability war support. That's not good. You guys stop doing something over here. Uh, fuel would be okay, but we don't really need that. Actually, we are still at 10. The River Republic is catching up, though. Actually, what? hold on. And we can build up infrastructure. Ah. Division speed. You know what? Let's go and build them up. Why not? And I don't want to get involved here just because... Infrastructure supply is going to be so bad. But I guess that's going to be this episode, or this game's episode. If you enjoyed this uh, episode, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we shall talk about racial tolerance. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.